You know everybody been waiting on that baby, man. Hey Bay, it's Queen Ray, and welcome back to her. I said, Welcome back to her. I said, Welcome back to her. What you say? I said, Welcome back to her. Welcome back to her channel. Woo, that took a lot of breath. I always gotta do an introductory dance some kind of way because that's just how I start my day. Listen, happy Sunday. It is the first Sunday of the new year. And what I did this Sunday was I took my behind the church. I gave God all the great all the grace, mercy, praise, and love I could think of, all that was in doing my body. Okay. I'm refreshed, I'm replenished, I'm revived, and I feel great. This whole video is nothing but positive vibes only and happy moments because I'm spiritually cleansed and I don't want to be sad. I don't want to be mad. I just want to be glad. Okay. So this is my first Sunday dinner of the new year and I'm excited because it's a new recipe for me. It's a new recipe for you and it's a new recipe for us. We're going to get into it together. Okay. This is garlic butter chicken with sesame ginger style noodles Ooh, that was that was hot that was hot i like that um i think it's gonna be really good because i was looking at the reviews i was looking at different videos and pictures and i was like okay i think this is what i want to do for sunday dinner so i think it's gonna be good it's gonna be my first time like, making it for my kids and myself and my man so i hope we enjoy it i hope y'all enjoy this video let's get into it so what we're gonna eat is extra virgin olive oil i love it i love olive oil i don't cook with it a lot but i love it on food uh the sesame ginger actually you can make the sesame ginger teriyaki yourself because i've done that before with the ginger seeds and the teriyaki sauce but i actually was able to find two in one uh garlic and onion sesame ginger teriyaki um minced garlic honey lemon juice my good old onion, cause y'all know I, I can't eat nothing without onions. Oh, I forgot something. Um, pineapple. And this is how I'm making my noodles look. She got ratchet. Oh, she got the rats. Oh. This is going to be the best noodle style ever. I didn't want spaghetti. I didn't want linguine. I didn't want angel hair. I didn't want elbow. I didn't want a uh, rotini. Let me keep going. I didn't want ZD. I didn't want bow tie. I, I didn't want rigatoni. Okay, I'm giving you all types of noodles right here. I didn't want none of that. I wanted ramen. I wanted, what's they call? Marushan. Is that it? Marukin. Moroccan. Maru Marushan. Whatever. I wanted oodles and noodles, boo. That's what I wanted. So, and don't forget your good old chicken. I got the chicken breast. It was, it was going out in the, in the sink. So, first things first, I didn't preheat my pan, which I should have did, which I'm going to do right now. So, give me a second. Pan is preheated. We're going to add butter to the pan. Butter make it better, butter, butter make it better. Butter make it all the way better. Y'all like my pajamas? This is, um, I thought this was so cute. It's actually, I actually bought it because I was going to wear it as a dress. But then I was like, this kind of is giving me like sleepy vibes. So I'd rather just put it on in the house and be comfortable. So that's what I did. I turned it into a pajama set. Okay, so we're gonna preheat the pan, put the butter in the pan. You know, I, don't, I eyeball it, I don't, whatever. Butter in the pan, let that cook. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up my chicken because I didn't get to do that. I had to throw it out first. So I'm gonna cut out my chicken and I'm gonna add the chicken to the pan. So I'll be back with you when I be back. This is actually gonna be a very fast and easy meal because all you're doing is cooking the chicken, flavoring it up, and then you're just gonna make the noodles and add that to it. So it's gonna be boom, bam, bang, boo, ba. I'll be back when I be back. 
Okay, guys, so as you can see, I have my chicken cooking. I added a little bit of butter and a little bit of seasoning salt to my chicken. Now I'm going to bring you over her where I'm making my, uh, the actual sauce. So you can't see me, but it's okay. Um, I know you want to see your girl. I know you want to see your girl, but it's okay. Just pay attention to the food. So in this bowl, I'm going to put garlic, honey. I did forget to tell y'all hot sauce as well, but everybody don't like spice. And I know my kids don't, so I'm only going to do a dash of that. Um, the lemon juice and what else? And the olive oil. Um, I also have um, parsley flakes that I'm going to add into it at the end. So that's how you're going to create the sauce. So well, let me get my spoon. So it's two teaspoons of lemon juice. What's a teaspoon? What's a teaspoon? Here you go. All right, you don't want it to be real lemony, so you got to be careful. Two teaspoons. Boom. Boom. What else? Oh, I'm lying. That was two tablespoons. Oh, what's two teaspoons? What's two teaspoons? Maybe that's four. Maybe I should do four teaspoons. I was supposed to do, I was supposed to do tablespoons. I did teaspoons. So I'm guessing that they're going to equal each other out. If I did two teaspoons, I should do two more to make it two tablespoons. I'm guessing. Don't get me quote. Don't quote me on the mathematics because I'm so bad at math. All right. What else? Um, oh, a half a teaspoon of the hot sauce but it's only a little bit so that's good enough I just do one a tablespoon a tablespoon of butter Ooh, okay uh, what else a tablespoon of honey Mm. I gotta take it off, sorry. Tablespoon of honey. There you go. Ooh, that's sticky. Oh, Lord. I can't find it. Okay. A half a teaspoon of the garlic. Half a teaspoon of the garlic. And a tablespoon, come on now, this honey is everywhere. A tablespoon of the, oh, y'all can see that. She bubbling real dumb. Woo! Oh, it's okay. Add that. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of my parsley for the coloration. Okay. Mm -mm. All right, so I have all my ingredients in here and I'm going to stir it up. Star, 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 star. Ooh. Now I have a lot of chicken. So I'm going to add another little bit of uh, olive oil. Okay. So as I look back over at my chicken, I see that it's cooking very well. It's pretty much done. I have an additional uh, bowl of chicken that I need to add because what I really need to do is invest in, um, I need to invest in some, let me tell you something. I need to invest in some pots. Because I like to cook a lot, I need some more pots, okay? It's not working with these uh, two, three pans I have. I had more, but once I ended up moving, I didn't take everything with me because I wanted new things so I think 
um, I'm going to have to invest in some pots because all my chicken wasn't fitting in that pan and I had to end up putting it to the side and waiting until um, something was cooked so I could add the rest. So yeah, that's what I did. So we have our sauce here. It's already completely mixed up, right? And because the chicken is halfway done, we're going to take our pineapples and I'm only gonna use two, I have the rings. I'm gonna take the pineapples and I'm gonna just cut them up. So that they're like little slices, the little halves that already come cut like that. Just cut them up. I should actually dice them a little bit so that they're not so chunky. I don't want my kids to be like, ew, mommy, I don't want that. Because they will be the ones. Okay. So that's pretty much it. The pineapples is there. Sliced and diced. Sliced and diced, baby. Sliced and diced. All right. Okay. Now, because the chip. Now, because the chicken is already cooking, I'm going to just proceed to add my pineapple to my chicken. Okay, so here it is. Here's the chicken. This is what it looks like. It probably don't look like it's real, like, cooked, but it is, believe me. You know chicken breast is light skin. I have my sauce on the side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be, I'm trying to wait for the chicken to finish cooking all the way through. Because I don't want to put the sauce on there and the sauce cooked first and then the chicken is still like uncooked. So I see a few pieces is still pink. So I'm trying to just make sure that um, all my chicken is cooked before I add the sauce. And in the meantime of me waiting on the chicken to cook, I'm going to be making, boiling my water for my noodles. So, let me get me a pot of uh, water on. Real simple, real simple. This is about to be done, 2.5. So I feel like I haven't engaged, so let me talk. So while I'm waiting for my chicken um, to finish cooking, I'm gonna add my sauce. I'm boiling my water so I can add my noodles. Um, I'm also going to be adding a little bit of, I think I have some broccoli. I, I wanna add vegetables to it, so let me just check. I wasn't able to find broccoli, but I did find green beans. So I'm gonna add uh, green beans to my chicken. So that's gonna cook in the microwave because those are microwavable. And this is what I call fast meal, okay? When you have children, you got to get with the program. You got to do things a lot faster and sufficient. You can't always just be taking all day long. If this was more like a homemade, meal type of thing I would do that but this is more like a 30 minutes or less type of meal so that's what I'm doing right now um Sunday dinner kids that go to school in the morning type of meal okay so listen I hope everybody had a beautiful new year's eve uh going into the new year I hope that your family is blossoming with love happiness health wealth all that good stuff um my kids are doing good I know you probably like dang she making this video she done made the last two three videos and I ain't seen a kid in sight my kids are doing good right now they're preoccupying themselves with baths and laughs that's what they're doing right now um in the back they know when mommy's doing her thing you need to let me sh let me do it because I don't want to have to do you you know what I'm saying don't want to have to do that because uh, I will get to them I will easily pause okay Ain't nothing to hit a button. Ain't nothing to hit a button. I will easily hit this button. Hold on, y'all. I'll be right back momentarily. And then I'll bring it back. That's all. So, um, that's what they're doing right now. I'm trying to make my video real quick. So, the chicken is almost there. Also, I wanted to say thank you for my subscribers. Because my number has increased within a matter of four days. I mean... It's been real genuine love. The comments, I've been reading the comments. And the people that have watched my videos, whether you watch it all the way through, you skip through it, whatever the case may be. If you just tune in to me for 10 minutes, I appreciate you. If you tune in to me for less than that, mm, it's like, nah, I appreciate you too. Um, but I do, I, I just want to say thank you. Because this is a new thing for me. I'm not really sure how 
far it's going to take me and how far I'm going to get with it and the results and everything like that out of it because YouTube is really like worldwide now. Everybody's doing it. So you really don't know, you know, how things will change your life. It's changing other people's lives daily. But I just want to do it because I'm a, a outgoing, like, just bright, goofy person. And all the things that I do in the house, I might as well do it on camera and just make a fool out of myself sometimes in a good way, you know, share the laughs. Um, yeah, that's all I really want to say. I'm trying to kill some time while my food is cooking. I know y'all want to hear me keep talking and talking and talking. So I'm going to just shut on up and get back to this chicken. So let's scoop on down. Here we go. Boom. So I think the chicken is where it needs to be. We are going to go ahead and add our sauce. Like it was enough sauce, y'all. It showed up. That's okay. We're gonna mix it around. I think I might actually want to add some more. Just so that because I have a lot of chicken, and that's that um amount that um they told me on the recipe was probably for a smaller amount of chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that same uh, same. Uh, ingredients with the hot sauce, the honey, the lemon juice, the olive oil, and a little bit of parsley. And then I'm going to come back over here with that. Oh, y'all. So I'm back. And if, if you can see, as you can see, my chicken is flavorful now. I added some uh, crushed red pepper flakes. Because I needed some coloration. I added some uh, crushed red pepper flakes. And the uh, string beans. I added a little bit more of the pineapples. And yeah, so it came, it's coming out. And I added a little bit more honey and butter because I wanted the uh, chicken to be nice and buttery and I wanted my vegetables to be nice and buttery. So I had to add some more butter to it. I didn't add a lot of string beans. It's only a little bit, it's real scarce looking, right? Let me add some more. It's all good, it's all good. She's gonna add some more. These frozen vegetables that come in the microwave, um, that you could just throw in the microwave, are like the best thing ever, okay? I got them in all. I got broccoli, peas, uh, carrots, um, mixed vegetables, everything. Like, they come right there in the frozen section. You get them, you put them in the microwave, and you keep it moving. And there you go. You got your veggies for the day. So... This is what that's looking like. And over here, we have the ramen noodles. Um, I put the three of them in there. And the trick to do it, um, the way I'm doing it, is to add butter. Because the butter is going to make it better. And the butter is also going to make the noodles more saucy. Rather than, you know, when you, when you take the... Let me stop having y'all look at the food. When you take the, um, the water out of the noodles... They tend to be like sticky a little bit or if you leave them in there too long then they start to get like spongy looking so if you add um butter to it it'll it'll allow it to be more like saucy noodles butter or olive oil whichever one it'll make it more like regular you know like spaghetti noodles or whatever whatever y'all don't talk about so yeah you do that you do this let the chicken simmer let the vegetables continue to cook and I'm going to let my noodles um, boil once they reach a the boil before they get too soft and soggy because you got to really keep your eye on these noodles because them noodles, they cook like this. And then if they got too much water, it's nasty. If they got too less water, it's nasty. So you got to make sure you hit that on the nose right there. And um, I'm going to take them out. I'm going to drain them. And then I'm going to proceed to continue my meal. So I'll be back. I know this is like no interaction. Like, bang, Raven, with a breakdown, with a dance at. I know you. Hold on. Hold on. I don't want to leave y'all out like that. I'm going to have to get right back to it. What she got for us today? 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 Baby. 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 I thought my Sunday spidey senses tingling. They was tingling. Uh, they was tingling. 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 You know I got to do my breakdown. Because my video wouldn't be a video if I didn't act like a video ho. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everything is completed. This is the chicken. 
Mmm. 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 It smells so good. Okay. Hold on. I might actually have to taste it. Can I have one? This is delicious. Oh, look, nobody can see you. Hi! Hi! Hi, my name's Prince EJ. Princess my name's Cooper. Okay. The baby is, um, she's in there. She's just crying. Yeah, that's So the everything baby. is done. Sky Boogie. Sky Boogie. She says hello. Pardon me. I'm hungry. That was good. My noodles are here. This is like the most simplest thing ever I have me a container I'm gonna dump the noodles right now that the noodles is in here I added a lot of butter so they're not sticky like that there actually you know what I'm gonna add some um a little bit of oil and vinegar just to make it not stick so much. And then I'm gonna... Now you can do this with any kind of noodles you would like. I chose to do it with these because for some reason it gives me more of like a, a, a Asian cuisine type, you know, with these noodles because they're like the, the ramen noodles. And I, I thought it would be better with my food. So, I'm gonna take your sesame teriyaki sauce and just drizzle that baby told you it was easy as one two three and i'm gonna mix them up now sidebar this is really easy this is probably gonna taste like um you know beef um the beef noodles anyway but I'm actually going to add a little bit of brown sugar to mine. Brown sugar is going to make it a little bit more sweeter. You're going to think you're getting diabetes with this meal, right? Like, dang, you got pineapples, honey. Now you got brown sugar. Yeah, it's a lot. But just a dash, just a tiny dash. Now, if you don't have brown sugar, then that's fine. You don't need it. This was just how I'm doing it. Because I wanted to have a little bit more taste to it. Okay? So, that was it, y'all. That was really simple. Really, really easy. Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Comment down below if you know what show that was from. Ha! <laughs> that was a throwback. I'll give you a hint. It was a 90s show. It was a cartoon. Only the real so fans would the food. And this is what it came out to look like. Let's see if you can see it. There it is. The noodles. Let me see if I can. There you go. There you go. There's the noodles, the chicken, and the vegetables. And I promise you, it's amazing. I promise you. Oh, my plate is flying. Look. This right here took me all of the time I started. I started at 6.30, it's 7 o'clock. That was a 30-minute minute, I told you. And um, not just that, but if you didn't want to use noodles like I did, because it's really probably good with the noodles. I'm going to try it for the first time. If you didn't want to do noodles like I did, you could always do rice, brown rice, white rice, whatever kind of rice you like. But let's try it on camera, because I never actually try anything on camera with y'all. And I don't want you to be like, oh, she been making all this food and don't even be eating it. She's a fraud. I told you. I knew it was gonna be slapping. I might just eat this whole plate on camera. I'm gonna let y'all in on something. I was nervous. There's so many different um, seasonings and stuff like that in here. See, they're hungry. They're ready. Mm.
That is so good. Thank you. That's how good it is. Okay. I gotta make these plates. Because it's about to be heads and beds. Say goodnight because it's about to be heads and beds. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, like, all that good stuff I always Hit say that all the time. Thank you for watching this video. Do all the good stuff down below. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever. And let me know if you ever create this, how it comes out. I'm always here to talk. I talk back. So, with that being said, it's time for me to say goodbye. Three, two, one. Hit it! Right now, on the right now. Downtown, keep me right now. Drop top, stop it, hop out. See you all.